As we've already seen, 1979 saw a new generation of female pop stars storming the charts. It was also the year that one of my favourite artists went on her first, and until 2014, her only UK tour. Start your tour in Liverpool tonight, how nervous are you? I don't know. Um, I'm, I'll probably be nervous just before the show, but when mm. you're out there, it's very different anyway. After taking the UK by storm in 1978, aged just 19, Kate Bush was now about to head out on tour, promoting it in a series of rare interviews that we found in the archives. A lot of people expect that, that when they come to a concert, they expect to hear a live sound, and it is different. And I think if people heard exactly what was on the album, why are they coming to hear it, you know? You come mm. to hear something exciting and spontaneous. Spon spontaneous, yeah. But we've also discovered something incredibly magical. On the 10th of April, 1979, Granada Television's cameras were present to capture Kate Bush in concert at Manchester Apollo for their live music series, On the Road. The programme never went out, so over 40 years on, this is the first time that performances of three of Kate's best-known songs from her early years have ever been seen on TV. Your stage costumes are, um, are very well done, very, you know, theatrical. Have you ever thought of appearing just the way you are now? Yeah, I've thought of it, yeah. But I consider myself and the performer two completely different entities. Like, now I'm talking to you as me. If, if mm. I was on the stage now, I'd be a very different person. What, what do you feel about going really big. What does it feel like to have the star drop on your head? <laughs> I didn't feel it, did it? <laughs> the, the coincidence, oh, I think it's about to land any minute. Yeah, oh, I'm yeah. Gonna put a helmet on. I think you, you, you're getting very big. It's a, it's a good drive. You, you, I'm expanding, I think. You're doing the right things, yeah, you're certainly expanding. Most of the pop songs today are about sex, whether they say it obviously or not. I mean, it's it's been for years the subject is to write about boy meets girl, and you know that's that's the basics of it. And I think you know it's wonderful. Do you get very many, sort of a lot of criticism as being sort of a sex symbol yourself? Well, I, I do, but as long as people appreciate me as a musician, as an artist, 
then that's great because, you know, if anything comes in on top of that, that's just a bonus as far as I'm concerned. But I, I really want people to understand that I am a serious artist. I'm not just flirting around with the business, you know? <laughs> I, I do take it very seriously. Rock music is sort of notorious for its casualties, isn't it? Having had a year of it now, do you think you know, there is a danger there? I think there is, but I think it's the rule of life, you know? You have to look after yourself, and if you're aware of yourself, like if you're starting to drift off into a, you know, one yeah. of these, or... I, I, I think also if the people around you are good, then you can be guided, and I'm really determined to stay a human being. Whatever happens to me, I'm going to stay real as a person and, and keep doing my work, and I, there shouldn't be any danger. Finding her sellout tour exhausting, Kay wouldn't play live again for 35 years, preferring to concentrate on making albums. It makes seeing this never before broadcast footage all the more special. Last year was definitely your year, wasn't it? You won practically every award going. Your first mm. single went straight to number one. Did, were you sort of prepared for, for the success to happen as quickly as that? How can you pre be prepared for something like I that? I mean, well, did it sort of... Did it stun you slightly that... Oh, yeah. ...everything was going so well? Absolutely. I mean, I'm, I'm still stunned by that. I, I honestly can't believe it. It never really sunk in. Yeah. It's uh, something that you don't expect to happen. And I, I'm just so lucky. The people chose me. An elaborate show that, that you're you're doing, isn't it? With sort of set changes, like other you're doing with a bit of magic, all sorts of things going on. Uh, how long did it take to get the whole thing together? Oh, a few months. We've yes. been working since the beginning of this year, mm -hmm. and uh, it's coming along well. Kate's 1979 stage show was completely ahead of its time. 
Through 23 songs and 17 costume changes, she was the first singer-songwriter to perform with a team of professional dancers, paving the way for many stars that followed. And if you can hear a little crackling, you can forgive Kate's sound engineer, who created a pioneering head mic using a wireless headset microphone and a coat hanger, making Kate the first ever artist to use such a device. Wow indeed. Kate's groundbreaking tour concluded at Hammersmith Apollo, the same venue to which she would make a triumphant return for a 2014 residency. It was amazing. Too much and bye. <laughs>